What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to Fire Pro Wrestling World Fire Promoter here on the PC year for October. 31 million in the bank. I'm sure somebody is going to want some more cash money. Mustafa Ali, the leader of Retribution, wants some more payola. And I suppose we can acquiesce to that demand. Hey, Ali, where are you at here? He has one belt. We'll pay you a bit more. There we go. Raise the salary. Hope it's worth it. Hope it's worth it. Now, are all of our scouts out? Yes, all of our scouts are scouting. So that can't be dealt with. Training center. Oh, man, we got some repairs to make on there. We have three spots on the roster. And hopefully I can get somebody here into VFG today. I'm not going to guarantee it. It's been a bit shifty lately, but we're going to give it a shot. Also, back in the big building, so we need to have some merchandise for our show. And yes, give me some t-shirts. Give me 3,000 t-shirts, please. They sell. I mean, at least in the game, they sell. Back there, not so much. Also, some towels and the photo collections of our lovely BFG superstars. And sure, even some branded snacks. Uh, perhaps also some various goods. They're, they're pretty cheap. Why not? All right, that's good. Not buying masks. Not happening. Okay, so that out of the way, what is our current broadcast deal? We got eight months and we cannot dismiss two or more wrestlers on this eight month deal. So keep that in mind. I can't fire nobody. I can only increase the size of the roster, or they can quit. If they quit, that's not on me. That's their own personal decision. Anyhow, also we have our sponsor here, uh, Sportswear, 20 grand a month. That's pretty good for the next year and three months. It's pretty, pretty nice. So that being said and done, I suppose we can offer a deal to somebody out there. I wonder, I wonder if it went to the NWA and said, Scott Steiner, double champion. Uh, yeah, we're a hard sell. So I don't want to hear that uh, because that just means a waste of money even though I have so much freaking money. Um, Solid Snake? Good, yeah, all right. I, I need somebody who's on the outs with their company uh, and is not in currently a good relationship with their deal. If I was going to poach talent, that's kind of the thing here. Can I poach Kota Ibushi? Nope. Kenny Omega? Nope. Now see, Drew McIntyre here on Raw does not like us much. His thing with, the, with his company is eh, but more importantly, he is not a fan of BFG for reasons. So, you know, that is what it is. The phenomenal AJ Styles, you know, anyhow. So... Let's go back to the free agents. Uh, we failed at Octodad. We failed at Geralt. Um, Zack Sabre, yeah, he's pretty good, but ideally a good match here would be somebody who is a strong style, like, say, Pentagon Jr., and he could help us in Latin America. So, Penta, they don't hate us, that's for sure. Penta, 20 grand. What do you say? Does not agree to the terms. You can't win them all. I've been losing quite a bit the last several months. But hey, that is how it is sometimes. So, Raw is still not friendly. Who can we loan to the Raw who's not working our show at the moment? How much longer is Nemesis on Expedition for, I wonder? Can we loan Monday Night Raw, the modern day Maharaja? Nope, the deal fell through. Can we loan Raw? Once again, The Burger. Nope, fell through. Only one week for the burger. Uh, couldn't get two. Couldn't get two in a row. So, hey, Raw, would you take our truth That's what's up. There we go. Our truth working Raw 24-7. So, let us invite some superstars onto our card here. Let's invite Octodad uh, for five grand. Nope. Not returning my calls. Okay, let's invite Geralt, who is still, like, super cheap at 666. Nope, 
too busy hunting monsters, clearly. Okay, we had some new guys in here. I want to say they were expensive, though, like, uh, MVP was 9,000, and Lashley was also pretty, like, up there. Yeah, $92,000 for Lashley. Like, I'm sorry. I would hire him for that money, but not for one show. Sorry. Champa, two grand. Not interested. How about Jungle Boy, $800. Not interested. How about MJF, better than me, and I know it. Nope. Sean Spears, the chairman. Boom, got a deal. Kurt Hawkins, $744. Face the facts, he ain't working here. Absolute Ricky Starks. Got a deal. Dax Harwood is way too expensive for one show. I'm sorry, Dax. Shorty G, Chad Gable. Got a deal. And we'll try for Cloud Strife. We got him once. That happened one time. Two times for... I want to hire Cloud Strife. I don't know why. I just do. Okay. Let's book our event. Back to the standard regular match stuff. And in the main event, back into America, back into the urban, back into the large hall, trying to fill up that 40,000 seater, if we can. And our main event will be a tag team match. Play a Mario and Luigi defend those heavyweight tag team titles against the freshly minted team of Waluigi and Dante. So Mario needs to redeem himself in some capacity after constantly losing and losing and losing, but he is still a tag team champion, and so certainly he lost to Waluigi, and now there was an instigation here, and he had this tag team title. But also, as I said before, Bray Wyatt, the Fiend, will be defending that NXT title any chance that he gets, and today, defending against the Dragon of Dojima, Kazuma Akiryu. Now, we also have an exhibition match here for our champion, and that is Kratos. We'll work a non-title match against the man who made it to the finals and lost in that tournament, and that is King Corbin. This is a consolation prize. If Corbin can beat Kratos non-title, then perhaps he'll be in line for an actual title match. Also in action, we have Brock Lesnar, very upset that he lost to Sheamus uh, in that first round, so he wants some vengeance here on that fella. Let's see if we can't book a junior tag team title match, one of our multiple junior titles, so our VFG juniors, Ali and Joker, uh, will defend those belts up against Kofi Kingston and a Cheeseburger. So I don't have that many juniors. They all have titles. It's kind of ridiculous. It really is. We shall put in a non-title endeavor the undefeated double champ, Rey Mysterio. Goes one on one with Adam Cole, baby. That will hopefully be a good match. Uh, not going to guarantee it, but hey. All right, so in our other talent here that are booked on this show, we have Absolute Ricky Starks going one on one with... Yushin Thunder Liger. That would be a barn burner in any arena in the world. Cloud Strife and the modern day Maharaja Jinder Mahal. Weird match, but sure. Also, we're already at a full house here. If we say 60 bucks, then we're at 34, 385. So, what if we say, I don't want this tag team match to happen? Can I unbook it? No, I don't want... I, I want to unbook this match. How do I change the... Well, I have some bad news. And that bad news is the fact that uh, Banjo froze the game. And I can only do this to get the operation guide. I can't click anything else. Banjo, that bear, uh, froze my game. I can't hit escape. I can't, like... Nothing works. So I'm not sure what I did wrong there, but... Okay, I had to redo this card. It's mostly the same. Unfortunately, I could not loan out our truth So he's here now working Sean Spears 
And otherwise, it should be pretty much the same cards that I booked the last time. So let's actually confirm it here. Full house, 40,000. Let's go. Let's proceed. Okay, October is here. And what will it bring? Our truth versus a Sean Spears to begin our show. And the winner is Sean Spears with the double knee chin pressure. I bet he had that loaded glove. I bet he had that glove. So hot match to open the show. And that puts our truth at. 9 and 11. Ominous. Ominous. So, next up, Bowser and Cloud Strife having a match. A good guy versus a bad guy. Heel versus face. Wrestling 101. What do we got? Who is the victor? 98% Cloud Strife beats Bowser. Cross arm fire powerbomb. And Bowser is now... 14 and 15. The big one, five for Bowser on losses. What are you going to do? So, absolute Ricky Starks versus Yushin Thunder Liger. That, in my eyes, would be an amazing match. But, does the game think so? What do we have? Ah, 78. Ricky Starks knocked out Liger in five minutes. He got the KO. That's crazy. He criticaled him. That means Liger is 4 and 12. He has one of the worst records, but he is the most popular. I don't understand, but here we are. Okay, Rey Mysterio, Adam Cole, another one that I would hope would be a hot, hot match. But we'll see. We'll see. And 88% the frog splash. Mysterio is still... Undefeated in VFG. He is now 6-0. Whereas Adam Cole is 1-3. Man. Don't bet against the greatest lucha of all time. Rey Mysterio. Seriously. Now, grudge match from that tournament yesterday. Sheamus and Brock Lesnar. Can Brock avenge that loss in the first round of that tournament? That is... A little question. No, he cannot. Sheamus is unstoppable. He has the Beast's number. Sheamus. Now 15 and 13, whereas Brock Lesnar is 7 and 6. Sheamus just has it out for Brock. That bro kick beats him every time. Okay. Into title town. Ali and Joker defending VFG Junior titles against Kofi Kingston and The Burger. Will we see new champions on this show? The answer is no, we will not. Ali gets the pin on Cheeseburger with that 054, and that puts Ali at 13 and 12. Whereas the burger has his third loss ever. He is four and three. So again, that 054 ever so deadly. Title defense successful. And still. But all the guys have belts. Like they all have belts. So, you know, there is that. Now, Kratos has deemed Corbin worthy of a non-title endeavor. Can Corbin pull off the upset here? against the God of War. Interference, perhaps? Nope! Kratos hits that Liger Bomb and wins the matchup. Which puts Kratos at 14 and 2. Can anyone stop him besides Brock Lesnar? That's the question. That also means Corbin is 16 and 12. Don't want to forget that in my record keeping. So, the Dragon of Dojima versus The Fiend. Will we see a new NXT champion here on the show today? Will that be the case? And no! The Mandible Claw in 19 minutes. Kiryu with a rare loss here for the winningest man in this game. 
Kiryu is 27 and 12. He just can't win where it counts, but hell of a match nonetheless. Bray Wyatt is now 12 and 5. Title defense times two. What does that bode for our main event of the evening? Mario and Luigi versus Waluigi and Dante. Let's get down to it. We know that both Waluigi and Dante certainly hold victories over Mario. So I think that Luigi here is the strong link. Luigi here is the wild card. If anyone gets the pinfall here and is victorious for our tag team champions, it's going to be Luigi because Dante moves and too bad Waluigi time are just that devastating. They are just that deadly of moves in this game, and I don't think Mario manages to get out of those uh, endeavors, right? But it is tag team action, so anything could happen here in VFG. Also, buy from our sponsors, Inspiration Sportswear, for all of your sportswear needs. So, Luigi and Mario, tag team champions once again. Mario still has the history. He was the first ever VFG title holder, but his 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 stuff as of late has been disappointing. Uh, but Luigi, a multiple-time junior champion, a junior tag champion, and once again, a heavy tag champion. So all eyes are on Mario in this contest. Can he get himself back on his feet? Can he reclaim what is his as a dominant superstar here in VFG? Anyhow, we begin with Mario and Wa Luigi in this all video game main event. Immediate suplex to the outside and Dante going to get it done, but Mario wisely rolls back in. But the trickster, Wa Luigi, the purple Wario, getting in that leg lock early. And you gotta watch out, man. He has those foreign objects, those illegal maneuvers and tactics. Does while Luigi. In comes Dante. In comes Luigi. And the cluster begins. The elbow drop to the head begins. And this is all breaking down early, folks. Referee, get in control of this matchup, I swear. Do your job, Lil Nate. Do your job. Scoop slam early, calling for that spinning backflip senton. On Luigi. And a two count. No, not even a two. It is way too early at 228 in the match. Flying elbow drop from Dante. He loves to fly, folks. That is his kind of MO here. Into the corner, though. And going after Mario, who definitely dodges that bit of business from Dante. And back into Luigi here, who I think has a chance. Has a chance in this matchup. But it could be that Dante and Waluigi are just too strong. Tags in Mario. Double team maneuver. Brings him down. And ties him up. And Mario guards here, but not enough to get that submission early on. And now Mario fights back against that double team. But it is perhaps too strong there. Double drop kick on the plumber. He don't wear ties. In comes Another, oh my god, Bulldog. And that was devastating to Waluigi. That may have been the turning point in this matchup. We shall see as again, the surfboard on the gangly body of Waluigi. It might be too much as he tags in Dante. He can't take the heat from that plumber. Totally just into the face there, into the face. And again, that drop toe hole is so deadly. Dante speeding it up there for a half second. And Mario wisely tagging out to Luigi. And then just neck breaker on the outside. Trying to hopefully get a count out victory here as Luigi dances in the ring. He's dancing, folks. He's dancing. Can he get back in the ring? He has a 20 count here as a reminder. A standing 20. In rolls Dante. Dante and Luigi are legal in this matchup. Trading blows back and forth. Dante wins that exchange yes. against Luigi. And a just devastating belly to belly to the outside there goes Luigi. 
Again, it's all breaking down, folks, here. It's all just going to hell in a handbasket. Enormous suplex on the outside, but Luigi back in the ring. Mario back in the ring. All four competitors back in that ring. I don't know who is legal at this point, but it looks like... Oh, God, cameraman. Uh, it looks like it could be Luigi and Waluigi. The eternal rivals, Luigi and Waluigi, going at it. But will it be too bad? Wa Luigi, time. Snap suplex from Mario. All right, it is Mario and Waluigi are legal in this contest. The uppercut, the punches in bunches. Who will be tougher here? And it just goes on and on. Both men unwilling to give an inch. But Mario getting the advantage there. Tagging in his bro. Luigi, Waluigi, cowardly tagging in, Dante, and again, double team, a maneuver, and saying, it's a me, the mushroom stomp, on a Waluigi, the elbow drop, uh, and who got the better of that exchange, the roll up, and no, a rope break on that endeavor, oh no, Dante moves, two, and 2.9, he didn't get it, folks, he didn't get it, it was not enough, Oh my god, just tossing him. Just tossing him. Can Luigi gain the advantage here? He is t certainly tossing bombs, right? But stunner, cutter, one of those two things. Diamond, if you will. Uh, and Luigi avoids that double team at 12 minutes into this contest. And gets hit low. The cheating begins, folks. Ah, oh, he says, suck it. He is just, at this point, they are perhaps going to lose those tag team titles. It's not looking good for our plumbers here. Not looking good at all. Dante again with the elbow. And getting Mario back into... Uh-oh, here we go! Elbow! But he's too far into the corner. And again, double team Mario fights out. Somehow with that huge lariat. But Dante, just don't discount the man. Don't discount the son of Sparta. You can't. Just multiple flying elbow drops. Picture perfect every single time is Dante. The spin kick and the counter man. Figure it out, man. Figure it out. Luigi whiffs. Skull crushing finale on Mario. Belly to belly. Waluigi wants to fight somebody. And, oh my god, takes out Mario. Drop toe hold. And thinks better of it on the tag there. In the opponent's corner. The slide! Two! And no, that is not enough here at the 15, almost 16 minute mark here. As Waluigi does not go high. Pinfall. But no, you can't do it with Mario sitting right there. You just can't. It ain't gonna happen. Mario is legal. Waluigi is legal. The clothesline. Raking the eyes. Doing his illegal tactics there. Dante tag in is Dante and Mario. Powerbomb? No. Powerbomb? No. Not happening. Waluigi dancing on him. Dancing on those fools. Dante calling for it. Calling for it. Look at that. Takes him down. And Dante, if he hits his Dante moves here, it could be over for Mario. Cutter, one more time, both men down, both men winded, both men at their limit here in this match. Can Luigi take it home for us? Can Luigi get the job done? Dante moves! And immediate kick out from Luigi. So he survived somehow, someway, the Dante moves. The here it is. This might be it, folks. They could retain if he gets the pinfall here. One, two... Nope, Dante breaks it up and salvages the match for his team. Neck a breaker. 20 minutes almost on the clock here. We're getting real close. Spear from Waluigi. Tags in Dante. Could this be it? Slaps down Luigi. One, two, and a two count. Waluigi again with that low drop kick. And just Dante feeling it. Takes out Mario. Who's legal? I don't know. It's a me. It's 
Oh, nonsense. Tags in Mario. I want to say Mario and Dante are legal here. I think. I hope. It looks like that is the case. Eh, eh, eh. Super kick pate. Camera guy loses his mind. But yes, Mario and Dante are legal. The roll up. Not enough. Not enough. Staggering, folks. Staggering. And look at that to the top. Can't even see it. The stomp. The double stomp from Watt Luigi. Followed up with the elbow drop. The tag team acumen here. Just I can't believe how great of a first time tag team has been Waluigi and Dante. They're going the distance. They're going for speed. But can they put it all together at the end of the day? Luigi! Nope. Yep. Code breaker. Top rope code breaker. Just tied him up. And that's it. And that's it. Luigi, as I said, is the strong member of this team. And Luigi gets the job done and taps out while Luigi and still tag team champions. That cross arm camel clutch gets the job done. Luigi is now 13 and 9, whereas Waluigi is 18 and 15. All titles retained here on the show a today. There we go. 90% full house. I can't complain. I can't complain. The audience loved the show. Gallows is the Raw Heavyweight Champion. 33 million in the bank. Nothing noteworthy has happened. And it is now November. Nemesis returned! Uh, he is back from his expedition and ready to conquer VFG. We'll see. But that will happen tomorrow. I'm a tax slug. Thanks for watching. More videos right here. See you next time. And I'm out!